folks, it is Sarah with Obadiahs and today I want to talk to you guys about tax credits and how to properly file your tax credit when you are purchasing a biomass appliance that qualifies. So as I've kind of stated before, we have a three-year tax credit that is actually pretty significant. The first two years of the tax credit are going to be a 26% write-off and the third year is still a good 22%. Um, so you guys definitely want to get in on this if you're looking at buying any type of biomass heating appliance, now is the time to purchase a qualified product and save those extra dollars on your taxes. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? I get this phone call all the time. Um, if you do not file your taxes yourself, basically you just take your piece of paperwork, you'll take your invoice that has the product information. Um, if you go to our website, the certificate for tax efficiency will be listed on our website if that particular model qualifies. If you're not sure, um, you know, when you're looking to make a purchase, you can always give us a call and we can state what those models are. I will also be producing some different videos that have tax qualified products in each kind of category at this point. Okay, um, so there's various different ways to find the products. If you don't know, always just give me a call. I am more than happy to help you guys out. Okay, so if you have someone file your taxes, boom, you print a copy of your invoice, you give them the tax certificate of efficiency, and they will file that paperwork for you. If you are doing your paperwork yourself, um, I do it myself, but I use the TurboTax program. So if you're using a tax preparation program like that, there is always kind of an area where you're you know, addressing your tax credits and your deductions for the year. And this is basically what's called an energy credit. Okay, so it'll be under that area. And then again, I think that they ask you to do the same thing, basically submit a copy of your receipt showing proof of purchase. Um, so that is how you would go about filing the tax credit. And then a reminder, this is not like a refund, okay? People get confused on tax credits and tax refunds. So it's not that for the $5,000 example. So 26% on $5,000 would be a $1,300 tax credit, which means your taxes are then reduced by $1,300. That does not mean you would get the full $1,300 back, okay? So difference between tax credit and tax refund. So I hope that you guys found these videos helpful. I will have various other videos on the tax credits um, for 2021, 22, and 23, because again, this is a huge savings that you don't wanna miss. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget that if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, share them with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless. Have a wonderful day.